Hey everyone, my name is HK Murthy from Manifold AI Learning. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about the Open Devin. Now when this Devin AI was actually introduced, everyone went actually crazy. Like we were, we were actually crazy about the capabilities that was demonstrated by this Devin AI. Now one of the challenge that we had was, it was closed source. No one was knowing what is happening over there and no one could get the access to this Devin AI. Now, after the launch of this Devin AI, there has been a recent open source project, which is called as Open Devin, which shows the similar capability of this Devin AI. So in this video, we'll talk about the Devin AI and I'll also show you the demonstration as how to access the Open Devin. So I've got a chance to follow the instruction from the GitHub repository and install it and uh, test it at my end as well and I'll be sharing you the steps as we proceed in this video. So if you're someone who is new to generative AI and wants to know what is happening in this generative AI space, I would say watch it till the end so that you get the complete understanding as what is happening in this generative AI space. First of all, let me give you a background as what exactly is this Devin AI. Now this Devin is developed by the Cognition and it was spearheaded by Scott Wu. And basically it's not just a software program. It represents the groundbreaking advancement in AI technology, which is tailored for software engineering task. So it serves as a proficient software engineer, which is proficient in coding, debugging and creating the applications and the website. So some of the capabilities of the Devon that I want to highlight are, it can be used in coding, it can write the code in multiple programming languages like Python and JavaScript. It can run its own check. That means it can check its own work for mistake and it can go also go ahead and perform the deployment. And it gets better over the time because it learns new tech stuff and picks up the new skill and uses them to tackle the new challenges. Now, these are the capabilities of the Devon. Now, the similar, the capabilities have been introduced in this Open Devon. Now, Open Devon is currently in its early stages, but it shows the potential to revolutionize the software development. Here, it uses the, the users can interact with this AI, which is capable of generating the bash script. It can run the test and even it can execute the commands too. And this Open Devon is built on Docker, Python, and Node.js. That means if you want to run it in your system, you need to have Docker, Python, and Node.js installed. And this leverages the open source community to push the AI boundaries in the software development. And overall, this Open Devon, it aims to unite the developers, researchers, and the AI enthusiasts to tackle the integration challenges. So if I take you to the official repository page of this Open Devon, so this is the official GitHub repository page of this Open Devon. And as you can clearly see, there's more than 17,000 starts. And let me remind you guys, this is a very latest project and this has been one of the trending repository that we have got. Now, as part of this session, I'll be taking you through how you can use this repository and get your Open Devon started working in your local system. Now, before we proceed ahead, guys, so this session is made possible with the team at Manifold AI Learning. Now, if you're someone who wants to know more about the generative AI and how to work in this space, and more importantly, how to operationalize your own LLM model into the production environment, then I would highly recommend you to check out the codes on LLM Ops with ChatGPT Hugging Face model, where you will learn the techniques to deploy to the production environment. Here, as part of your learning journey, you're going to learn from basics to the advanced when it comes to usage of large language models in your production environment. You'll start by understanding what exactly is this generative AI, the techniques when it comes to prompt engineering, the technical details of large language model, and you'll go ahead and build your own project using the ChatGPT APIs. You will learn the techniques to package the large language model. You'll build your own application using Python programming language. You will deploy the container application with the help of Kubernetes, and you will implement the CI CD action with the help of GitHub. At the end, you will do a complete project 
where you will implement the automation with the help of GitHub action, where any changes that you would do on your repository will be reflected on the deployment that you have done on your Google Kubernetes cluster. And there's a second project, which is about how you can build your own generative AI application using Hugging Face. And at the end, we'll also talk about the techniques that you would be using to monitor the large language models in the production environment. As you can clearly see, this is a course which covers in-depth understanding of large language models and how to make it deployable in the production environment. So do check out the links in the description so that you can go ahead and grab the offer that is currently running in their website. Now, coming back to our session's agenda. So here, this is the open devin that we will kickstart in our local system in order to get it working in our local system. The important thing that you need to have is you need to have the Python installed and you need to have the Docker installed. So in my case, the Docker is actually running and I also have the Python installed. So for the benefit, what I did is I've already created the code and I have pushed it to the GitHub registry. So if I open up my GitHub repository, so there's a uh, there's a repository called open Devon, and what you need to have is you need to uh, download this requirements.txt file or and you or else you just have to copy this so i would say it's better that you download this requirements.txt file and keep it with you now the steps that you need to run that is the commands that you need to run is mentioned right here so this is the list of commands that you need to run. So it starts with cloning the repository. So git clone followed by the open domain repository. So let me go ahead and launch my terminal or if you're comfortable in VS, you can also go ahead and launch a terminal in the Visual Studio code itself. And over here, I'll start by cloning the repository. I'll do one thing, I'll move to a different folder from the current folder that is present. I'll say mkdir and I'll create my new folder. I'll call it as new project. CD new project. Okay, I'm now inside the folder of new project. Now I would go ahead and execute the commands that is mentioned and ensure that you have the git installed in your local system to ensure that the git command would work. So git clone. So this will perform the cloning of this repository. Now, once it is cloned, go inside that folder of open devin by CD open devin. So you are now inside the open Devon repository. Now, by being inside this folder, you have to create a new virtual environment. To create a virtual environment, I'm making use of conda. So conda create hyphen n, and I'll just say open Devon, and we'll use the Python as 3.10. This will create a new environment. Okay, now once the environment has been created, then activate your environment by running the command of conda activate and mention your environment name. Now being inside this virtual environment, run the command of pip install hyphen r requirements.txt and then press the enter key. And apart from that, also ensure that you have the docker that's actually running. Okay, in the meantime, what you can do is you can also and generate the API key from the OpenAI platform. So in order to generate the API key, so what you need to do is you need to visit the site that is API keys from the from platform.openai.com. Click on the API keys. Now here in this page, click on new secret key and mention the name for the secret key. I'll just say uh, OD, okay, and I'll click on create secret key. This is going to generate a new API key. Go ahead and copy this API key. And what you need to do is you have to create it as an environment variable. The way that you would create the environment variable is you'll just mention as export OpenAI, and this is followed by your API ID, which you have just downloaded. So you'll have to go ahead and mention it over here and export it. So this is an important activity. Just export it in this manner, export open AI, open AI key. So this will be exported as the environment variables. And now just check whether you are able to call this, say Docker PS and check if it's working. 
okay so it is working fine i'll say docker pull ensure that you pull this open dev in sandbox from the ghcr okay so once that is done, to simply get started, you just have to run the command of pvcon open devin.server.listen app port 3000. So this is going to launch the fast API server. Now this would actually take some time in order to get started and once it is up, you will get a message that says as uvcon is running on the port of 3000. You can also test it by visiting the site of localhost. If I visit this port of 3000 and go to the docs, so you can check there are three methods that have been implemented. So one is light LLM agents, default model and light LLM models. You can play around with this API, but we don't have to do about it. So it has been implemented with fast API and that's the reason that you are able to view it. Now, let's suppose if all these things are appearing new to you. So I've got one more recommendation. So it's the complete MLOps bootcamp from Manifolia Learning. So here in this course, you can actually learn more about what is this fast API, how you can actually build it and package it as an application. So if you're someone who's serious about taking your MLOps journey, I would highly recommend you to check this out as well from our sponsors of this video. Perfect. Now we can see that. So the fast API is actually running. Now, what are the next steps? So what I'll do is you need to launch a new terminal and inside this new terminal, you'll also have to install the npm as well so go inside the folder of front end from the repository that you have downloaded okay so i'll have to go inside the folder which i have that i have copied so that means i'll have to go a step back new project cd open devin now cd front end okay now once this is done Okay, so the another thing that I'll have to do is I'll have to go ahead and perform this activity of setting up the work drive. So another uh, environment variable that I would highly recommend you to set up is that's the uh, workspace directory. I'll say workspace underscore dir and set up your open devin folder. So the way that I'll do is I'll just get my a present working directory and I'll mention it over here. Ensure that you set up your workspace directory in this manner. Okay, it's basically export and mention the same. So that's how you will set up your workspace directory. Now, once this is done, you are already inside the front end folder. Now, just install the npm in your local system. So, blue install npm. In my case, I had already done so it was fast then just run the command of npm install so this will take care of the installation of the npm and then just run the next command that says as npm start hyphen hyphen space hyphen hyphen port 3001 so that means the front end is actually based on the node package manager and we are going to get the front end which will be running on the port of 3001 Okay, we'll have to wait for a while for the uh, front end to appear. It will take a while, folks. Okay, the command was successful. I'll just say npm start and I'll copy paste this command. So this will start the front end. And if I now go to the port of 3001, so in the local host of 3001, we have got the UI. And if you look into the UI of this open devin, it's very much similar to the UI that we have seen with Devin AI, isn't it guys? We've got the place where we can send in the message. We've got a welcome from the open Devin, okay, which is the agent. And we've got a terminal, there's a planner, we've got a code editor where we can get to know what is happening and there's also a browser that is present. So all these things that is already available to us and let's take a test ride. So I'll just say, create me a Python calculator. So if I press the enter key, so it is starting up a new task right now. 
now this actually took a while to go ahead and execute so what I'm actually doing is so first I gave a command to write a Python calculator and if I show you the terminal it started by analyzing the current environment then it started creating a new Python script that is uh, calculator.py and once it was created it also went ahead and did the testing from it from in the back end as well and then I was able to view it under the code editor and once I have tested this Python calculator then what I did was over here I also gave another command where I have mentioned as deploy it in an HTML so I just mentioned as deploy it on a local server as HTML so what this has understood is it has understood that it has to deploy some kind of a demo HTML file and it has to deploy it on the server so what it did in the back end is it started creating an HTML code and it say and in the back end it has installed lot of lot of things and now it says has command uh, and uh, it is going ahead and it is now working correctly I mean that is what it says right here guys okay and that's what it says in the, right here and also it is getting executed in the back end so what you can clearly see right here is whenever we provide any prompt so based on this prompt the action being decided and the and it is actually improvising the code in an iterative fashion so that's the power of this open devin so guys go ahead and do check out at your end as well now let me remind you since it will make use of the open ai api that means whatever the commands that you will be executing so it will be built on your open ai account you should be mindful of the cost and it might go upwards of five dollars even with a simple command that's something that you need to remember so as you can clearly see the generative ai is an exciting space and every company want to use the generative AI as part of their organization. Now to help the learners to progress in their generative AI journey as well as in this machine learning and LLM operations journey, we at Manifold AI Learning, we are providing some of the amazing tutorials and the live webinars for free on our YouTube channel. Do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also do check out our page manifoldailearning.in for the courses where you've got the high quality courses at the affordable price do check out the courses and i look forward to seeing you next time